Hi there, Coach Steve here. And Gordon had a question on Libero um, exchanging, and it's in the Libero video, but uh, maybe a little bit more detail would be a help. So we're going to take some time to look at that. So let's get started with that here. So we're looking at a court now, and uh, there's a lot on here. You basically focus on the six players and number 10, who is our Libero. So I've numbered the middles, and this would be in rotation one for many teams. Your coach may do it a little differently, but a lot of times, we start with our setter in, in position one and our, our two middles, one in position six and one in position three. Uh, if you know what those mean, that's fine. But the, right now they're in the middle um, and we're going to go through a rotation. So referee comes in and they're going to uh, check the lineup first. They get their card out, they look and they make sure everybody's where they should be. Uh, then they're going to motion to the Libero that it's okay for you to exchange. So what does that mean? An exchange goes behind the 10 foot or three meter line and it can be done at any time. So um, the exchange is always for the same player. Um, and so for example, in this case, uh, we're going to have our Libro come in for number 13, who is our middle in the back row and maybe needs a little break or uh, maybe the Libro is a little better passer. So we're going to bring them in and bring them off. So that, that completes that exchange. An exchange is different than a substitution. A substitution happens in front of the 10-foot line, and it is uh, required for you to wait for the referee to motion you in so that the book can make, the bookkeeper at the desk can make a, a record of that change, that substitution. So it's substitution and exchange are different. Liberos don't substitute, they exchange. All the other players can exchange and substitute, but they can only exchange in the back row. They can substitute at any time. So now we have uh, our rotation one, and I'm going to move us ahead to rotation two because Gordon's question was about what happens when we go from rotation two to rotation three. Well, so let's take a look at that. I'll move everybody ahead one. So let me get these all straight here. Now we have, um, essentially, we have our middle front is over here on the right side now in rotation. And our libero, who is liberoed in for the middle back, is in the left back position. So what happens, let's say we've, we've, we've played a point and we've won the serve back, so now we go from rotation two to rotation three. Well, we know the libero cannot play in the back row. So what what has to happen? The first thing that has to happen is the Libero has to come out and the exact person he's exchanged for needs to come onto the court. So, and then we would rotate. And again, you may do this all at once, but this is what's happening in kind of slow motion here or very deliberate motion. So now we bring back our middle who was in the right front comes back to serve. Now, this is the only time when you make an exchange for a different player that a Libro can, can come in immediately. They don't have to wait for one rotation or one point to be played in order for them to come in. They can come in and exchange for number 12 and go back and serve. So I think that was one of the questions. What happens? Why does it happen? In what order does it happen? So the exchange happens behind the 10 foot line and the uh, ro and there is no substitution in this case. So 10 can go ahead and serve. Now, another thing that you might be wondering is, well, does the Libro always play for middles? They don't. They can exchange for anyone. So let's say we're playing along here and we've lost the point and now we're serve receiving. And number three is having, eh, he's not really re receiving very well. So we think, oh, maybe we would like to, to Libro him out. Well, we can't do it immediately because Libro is already in. But what we can do is we can bring the middle back and we can play another point. And I'm just going to assume that we bring the middle back and we still, we lose the next point. So there's no rotation at this point. Well, then the Libro can come in for number three after that point. And now they are, they're Libro'd out for three. Now remember, when, when our Libro gets to the front row, three needs to come back on. Now let's say three was a back row player. That gets even more fun. So when three, let's, let's do that just for the heck of it. I'm going to have to move these all ahead one at a time just to keep things in order. 
So let's say we, this is now um, the rotation when, let's say we just won the point again, and now 10 is going to go to the front row. Well, 10 can't go to the front row. Libero's um, or exchanges back in for number three. Now we rotate. Okay. And so we've got everybody in rotation where they're supposed to be. And now let's say three happen to be not, uh, you know, not our front row player. We play him in the back row as a defensive specialist. We could bring another, we would, we would substitute, let's say 10, just for the heck of it, four, three, and 10 would come in and play front row. So you have to keep substitutions and exchanges separate. So in this case, for example, we might say, well, now we want, and we can do this at the same time, uh, we have to wait one point because we just liberoed out. But after one point, we can now bring in 10 for 12 in the back row. So the only time a libero stays on the court after they've rotated, their, their position has rotated to the front row, is when they go back to serve. And they can only serve in that rotation, in that particular rotation. So you can't have like a libero um, serve for both your middles, one or the other, or for any other player. You can have them serve for anybody. So late in the game, if they haven't served and they're a really good server, you could libero them in for the server at any point if they haven't been in the game, as an example. So there's a lot of complexity, but the way most teams play it, to keep it simple for you, Gordon, is when, because your specific question was, well, what happens when uh, essentially the middles get liberoed for and can a libero serve? Yes, they can. They have to first... Libero in, for, libero, sorry, libero out for the player they were replacing in the back row as they moved to the front row. Then they libero in for the player who is about to serve. And that's the only time that they can stay on the court one point to another if they're liberoing for a different person. So I hope that helps. Uh, put your questions in the comment box and uh, we'll see you next time.